bought Amazon Squire by Fender debut Stratocaster and paid the price. If you don't have time to watch one video today, don't make it this one. This is the Squire by Fender debut series Stratocaster. You can get it today on Amazon for $119. Six strings attached. Let's reply now to all the comments I predict will happen and get it out of the way so I don't have to uh, type this in the comments later, okay? So let's just uh, go with it here. Serves you right for buying on Amazon, right? That's one. Well, of course it sounds good when you play it through an expensive amp. Well, how about this? This guitar is perfect for a beginner like you, and they're talking about me, that's a knock at my playing. It's not a Fender, clickbait, it's a Squire. And then they spell it wrong, right? They always spell Squire wrong. As a Fender fan, let me just put on my Fender hat for a moment, okay? That was it. That's called a prop joke, props to my hat. All right, I'll just address those comments right now. So all those kind of stupid, nasty comments you see. Here's what you're gonna do. Take your phone or whatever device you're watching this on, sell it, make a little bit of money and go buy yourself a life. And uh, usually those people just comment on the title and the thumbnail. They don't watch the video ever. All seriousness aside, let's get into the guitar. That was just dealing with the, uh, the comment section ahead of time. It's called uh, being proactive. This guitar, look at it, it looks really good. This guitar comes in three color options. There's Sunburst, Black, and this one's Dakota Red. I gotta say, because how else would you know? Uh, I like the satin look. It's like, or they call it matte, right? M-A-T-T-E, matte finish. Uh, it's pretty unique, and uh, it's not as vibrant as the photos. Let's bring up a photo right here to show you what it looks like on the Amazon site. So don't think it's gonna look like that. It's gonna look like this. Like I'm looking at the, uh, the camera replay right now, and this is what it looks like. It's more of a, a wine red, I'd say. Keep that in mind. If you're buying it because you think it's a candy apple red, no. It's not a, uh, it's not a um, what's that other one? Fiesta red, no. It's, it's got its own thing, which is cool. That's, that's what makes this one unique. That's why I picked this of the three. Also because Andy from um, Guitar Geek did a video and he did a different color, so I didn't want to do the same one. That's all. Go check out his video, I'll link it. Uh, let's ch let's ch chalk. Let's talk about specs. Dakota red, matte finish, talk about that. Poplar body. Maple neck, Indian laurel fretboard. It looks like Indian rosewood. Like I really can't tell the difference. It's one of those lucky ones that's nice and dark, okay? Official Amazon listing. About this item, like if you go on amazon.com, the US site, you'll see this. One, Squire debut series Stratocaster electric guitar. A perfect beginner guitar for both kids and adults. Designed by the most trusted name in guitar and backed by a 75-year legacy of quality and craftsmanship. Craftsmanship. This beginner guitar comes with a free subscription to Fender Play that includes free lessons with thousands of instructional videos to build your skills by playing the songs you love. Designed for beginners, the Squire Debut Series features the iconic Fender Stratocaster model in three signature colors, black, Dakota Red, and two-tone sunburst. This, they, know, they didn't say that, ignore that part. This guitar includes a super comfortable C-shaped neck, laurel fingerboard, and thin lightweight body for more, comf uh, for more comfort and playability. If I could read, it would help, right? The Squire Debut Series Strat features three single coil pickups with five-way switching that offers a wide range of classic Strat tones and the trem Lolo bar bridge, the tremolo bridge, and removable arm allows for exting string bending effects. That's great. That's the actual listing. So I didn't, that's not my typos. Okay, let's grab the weight. Let's run right now. Grab it. Stick it on my food scale from Canadian Tire. Super light. Like, super, super light. Let's take the pick guard off. I want to see how it's routed. And so we'll pull that off. And uh, I managed to pull that off pretty good. 
And I was curious, I'm like, they say beginner, right? Like they say a million times, it's a beginner guitar. There's also that crowd of modders, people that wanna get a, a cheap guitar and upgrade it. It does fit. I have a, a loaded, loaded pick guard, that's what it's called. And it fits, it's a direct fit, I tested it out. Uh, that's Obsidian Wire. Uh, if you wanna check them out, I love their stuff. I'll put a link later on. Let's check it out side by side. They mentioned it's thin and uh, so here's an American Strat and if I can move that down out of the way. Let's try to capture that. Yeah, you can see it's, get my face out of the, all right, so it's in focus. So you can definitely see uh, right there. It's definitely slimmer and that's my uh, workout for the day. So you can see it's, it's slimmer. So you're going to get, it's, that's part of the weight being less. Uh, you'll get less wood sounds and other things that don't matter and made up things. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's nice. And, I actually like the thinner thing. The thinner thing. Uh, look at that. Let's break down the price in case you're curious because they don't sell this one on Amazon Canada. They only sell it from what I could see, .com, uh, UK. So Europe, I think Europe and maybe Mexico. Uh, so what I did was, it's something I used to do years ago. I haven't done it recently. This is the first time I've done it in years. I got a PO box in the US. I've had it for 10 years. Haven't used it probably nine years. Yeah, so I got a PO box. I imported it into Canada. So here's the price breakdown. I'll put it on screen. I have some nice numbers right here. Okay, so I used my Amazon American account. Guitar, $119.99. Uh, they collected $9.60 in taxes. And then, so the total was 129.59 US, and then we have to convert that to Canadian. And on that date, which was I think it was two weeks ago, 181.66 Canadian, and then I had to ship it over from the PO box. So they charged seven dollars to receive it. Customs clearance was 29 dollars. This is all Canadian funds here. Uh, Three dollars and 77 cents on the tax for brokerage. Tax on imported goods 23.08. And shipping, send it to my house, $16.70. So $79.55 Canadian was the total to do the P.O. Box thing. So grand total, $261.21 Canadian. And I'll put up converted to American. So what is that? But really, it's the people in Canada that will care about that part. Um, just for reference, a brand new Squire Sonic Stratocaster goes for $279.99 Canadian. And if I bought it in a store, it'd be $316.38 Canadian. So 55 bucks cheaper for this, even with all the, the shipping and duty and all that stuff. So if that was helpful for you, leave a comment. If it wasn't helpful for you, leave a comment. If you're not watching this video, leave a comment. Okay, we're gonna cycle through the pickups, get some clean tones and dirty tones. I'll just mention, uh, it's got the five-way thing, right? It's got the uh, hum canceling in position two and four. And the second tone knob does take the tone off the bridge, which is good. I think every Strat should have that, so let's go. I'm playing everything through my Princeton Reverb. It's got a 12 inch speaker, a Celestian Blue, and I'm miking it with a Royer R10, and that's going into an Arturia Audio Fuse Studio. <laughs>
Okay, here are all my thoughts about the guitar. I've had it for 10 minutes. No, I'm just kidding. I've had it for a few days and I, I've played around with it. And uh, keep in mind, and they make it very clear, the target audience is 100% a beginner, right? First time player. Not a modder, but um, not a fodder. That's Newfoundland jokes for my Newfie friends. Uh, not a modder, right? But it will it will be good for <laughs> but it will be good for modding. Sometimes words, you know what? It's like 38 Celsius outside, and the heat is melting my brains. Okay, let's just go through all the things. Uh, it's super light. It's got a super low price. It's got cheap electronics. Uh, the neck feels really good, like surprisingly good. Nice satin finish. It has sharp-ish frets on this side. Nothing bad, but I feel it, right? The actual fret work is good. It's not scratchy, like so many squares. I didn't really focus on this too much, but the rear damage is not good. This is how it arrived. That's hard to capture right now. Uh, right there. Yeah. Something happened. It arrived like this. Looks like it got banged up. It's almost puncturing. I'd say it is puncturing the, the finish a little bit. So that's no good. The matte finish is a fingerprint magnet. That's nothing special. That's that's pretty common for matte finishes or black guitars, right? So I imagine the black one is just insanely fingerprinty. Ceramic pickups. I like them. I think they sound gritty. Uh, and I'm a fan of that kind of sound. So especially with the SD1, the Boss SD1. The SD1 is a pretty cheap pedal, like 60 bucks, 100 bucks. I don't even know what it is. All right. Um, some things I noticed. The output jack is loose. Like it cuts out when uh, you touch it. So I'm gonna take a look in there after and see what the issue is there. That's not good. The trim Lolo, it's it's set, uh, it's planked, like it's flat, it's not floating. It's very tight, not easy to use, uh, pulls the strings out of tune instantly, which could be the nut as well. So yeah, not great. So trim Lolo, not great. Remember Lolo from the N Nintendo game? Lolo, was it Lolo's Adventures? I, I remember weird things from when I was a kid. Don't don't ask me why. That's a Billy Joel song. Don't ask me why. Because of the internal routing, you can mod it easily. Uh, like you can fit in that that uh, wiring kit. Uh, sorry, you can fit in that loaded pick guard. It fits. It's a direct fit. So, Squire Sonic Stratocaster or this? The Sonic is made in Indonesia. The debut is made in China. Um, as far as I can tell, like my final thoughts on the whole thing, the Squire by Fender debut Stratocaster is a Squire Sonic made in China that costs less. Does that make sense? It's basically the same guitar. This one costs less and it has a matte finish. So do I recommend it even with the shortcomings? Yeah, I do. Even with the, the banged up back. I know a lot of people will be like, nope, sending it back. Um, but I've said this many, many times. This is a budget guitar. This is one sample of many. You will get lemons. I've been pretty lucky to not um, over the last eight years. Yeah, you'll get lemons. I'd say this one is more like a grapefruit. It's a little bit sour, but if you add some sugar, like you fix it up yourself, it's fine. So that's my uh, analogy for the day. There you go. Go check it out. Go check out Andy's video too. All right, I got one more thing to say. Play guitar and have fun and see you in the next video.